on Welcome to Fact or Fiction, a show we discuss what's in the news and whether it's real or not. I'm Suyash Barve and with me is Jensi Jacob from Boom. Hi Jensi. Hi Suyash. Alright, today we're talking about chocolate and a very disturbing forward that did the rounds this past week. Uh, the message warned that you could contract AIDS by eating Cadbury products because their chocolates had been infected with the deadly disease. Uh, Jensi, it's a story that turns my stomach at least, uh, <laughs> but is it true? You know, actually at several levels, it is so hilarious. I mean, I find it really hilarious, though I know that uh, it's nothing to laugh the, about. The endless loop yeah. of Cadbury yes. tampering drama. Yeah. Yes. And also, uh, the fact is that uh, uh, we've had this uh, issue about uh, food products being infested with uh, or being infected with uh, with HIV blood so many times. And in fact, Snopes said that this idea is so much of an idea of the 80s, you know, <laughs> when these hoaxes used to go around right. in India, it used to go around in the 90s and early 2000s, not any longer. I mean, it's after a long time, I've heard about this. Okay, now let's break it down. The, the, you, you, see, you see several images in this. That one image is about a man uh, being led who's handcuffed and some security officials are leading him. Now, when we did a reverse image search, we found that both Snopes and uh, uh, Africa Check, both of these websites, they have already debunked this globally. And this man is a Nigerian terrorist who has been accused of masterminding a bombing, uh, you know, on a bus park in Nigeria. And Interpol officials were leading him from Sudan, South Sudan, to Nigeria. Now, I don't know who decided that it's a nice idea to pick up his image and uh, do this, right. uh, but they've linked it to the entire Cadbury. Uh, safe to say, thing. safe to say that that guy is not getting a job in the <laughs> FMCG sector whenever he uh, comes out of and, prison. And and the f and also, it, uh, let's remember. So they've said that he was he's a uh, he's someone uh, infected with HIV, and he passed on his blood, uh, you know, during the manufacturing process. None of this is true. Right. Also, World Health Organization has uh, run several campaigns. Even in India, there were several campaigns in the 90s. You know that you cannot pass on HIV like that. Uh, yeah. it, it, it only passes through body fluids. You can't pass on your uh, blood into some, you know, food product, and and everyone gets infected like that. So that's one part of it. Secondly, the same image has been used to uh, when we found uh, several articles in the past. Pepsi has also been targeted with the same uh, campaign. So we don't know who's running these misinformation campaigns, but somehow this has also been linked to worms, Cadbury uh, being linked to worms. And you can see an image there. When we found out this image has been taken from a Facebook page on, uh, in, 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 uh, on an Indonesian Facebook page. So this has also not happened in India. Uh, right. Cadbury has also got in touch with us. They have sent out clarification saying that none of these images have any relation to their product. So, I mean, it does seem like there's a this is a recurring trend. I mean, every week we're busting some kind of a food fake news, uh, right. be it Kurkure, Cadbury, Pepsi. Uh, do you feel like there's some sort of a campaign? Or is it just a thrill that people get by sharing imagery of food uh, being tampered with? Does it play into some sort of a paranoia that we have against companies? Yeah. You know, in, in, as far as Cadbury and worms are concerned, we already know what happened in the early uh, 2000s. Yeah, a lot of, was spent lot of money was spent fighting that misinformation you know, And campaign. Amitabh Bachchan had to be brought in yeah. uh, to run a brand campaign as well. Uh, in fact, in 2013, you know, as uh, uh, you know, very f uh, freak, uh, recently also in 2013, we've seen that in Maharashtra, they, uh, Cadbury again had these problems of worms and they ran a project called Project Vishwas where they were uh, going around and uh, educating the retailers how to store uh, chocolates. Yeah. Because one of the reasons they have given, which many people are not uh, willing to take so easily, is that if you store it in really hot conditions, uh, then chocolate can, is, uh, you know, can be infested with worms. Now, how, yeah. when does this take place? Uh, no one has an idea. In fact, even that video, if you see, uh, the wrapper is already open. So we cannot yeah. fact check whether, you know, when did worms get into these chocolates. But if I take the company statement on record, they have very clearly told us, and we have also fact-checked independently, that the, uh, that as far as these worms in chocolates are concerned, definitely not from India. It's uh, coming in from somewhere in Indonesia or on an Indonesian uh, you know, Facebook page has put out this video. Right. Uh, so when it comes to chocolates, put your mind at ease. Have a bite. Uh, that story is completely false. That's it for now. Thank you, Jensi. Thank you, Suyash. And thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time with yet another story and the answer to that eternal question, fact or fiction. I'm